This is my father-in-law's lawnmower and the handle for it broke. So I have to weld it back together right here with my welder. And I'm always curious, how much current does that use? Because I think those max out a regular circuit. So I've set up my uh, current uh, graphing and measuring contraption here. And let's see what it uses when I weld. So I had a spike of about uh, 27 amperes, but then while welding, I'm actually well under 10 amperes. Surprising. Now I've got this set to its second lowest settings because I didn't want to risk blowing through the metal here. And so far I've just put one little spot weld on there. But I think I can go higher. And I did blow through the metal. So I'm just uh, welding in small pulses. Put a pool in between to fill in that hole I just made. There's my awful handiwork. I weld it right through it, so uh, that setting is a bit too much for this job. Well, I got that handle welded back together, but I'm curious. Here's some scrap metal. I'll go maximum. I had the wire feeding too fast initially and that just resulted in on and off arcs. But uh, it peaked out at around 32 amperes, which for a 15 amp circuit is nowhere near blowing the breaker. And then I slowed down the feed rate. And this time on a continuous weld, I am averaging around 18 amperes or so. So pretty moderate because some power tools like my thickness planer will use way more current than that when they're really working hard. Now this welder is rated for 70 amperes out, so I'm curious how many amperes does it really put out? Now my current clamps can only measure AC, so I can't just put it around the ground lead like this because this is a DC welder. So my plan was to open this thing up and then just put it on the transformer lead before the rectifier to measure the AC current. But unfortunately this is a center tap transformer with a half bridge rectifier which is to say there is no actual straight AC lead coming out of the transformer. But the ratio of current coming out of the transformer versus going in is the same as the turns ratio, and I can work that out by just measuring the output voltage of the transformer. So I've got the uh, multimeter wired into one leg of the output of the transformer, and now if I push the button here, on the lowest setting we get uh, 16 volts, Next setting is 18 volts. 20.72, 22.03. So now for the highest settings, you got 120 over 22.03 is a 5.7 times multiplier times 18 amps input. That comes out to 102 amperes. But my welder is only rated 70 amperes. What gives here? But then I realized average current is actually less than RMS current. So really, I need to measure the DC current itself to get an actual reading. I need to measure that with a shunt resistor and that shunt resistor should ideally be about uh, five milliohms. All right, here's my approximately five milliohm shunt resistor. And I've got that hooked up to this benchtop power supply with this ammeter to calibrate it. So I'm now passing so 10.4 amperes through here and the computer reads that at 10.3-ish, uh, so I'm pretty close. All right, got my shunt resistor hooked up to ground. This is possibly a dumb idea running the welder hooked up to sensitive electronics, but uh, let's see. So scrolling back in here, it initially surged at over 150 amperes, but that was very briefly. And then when I was actually getting a steady arc, I think that was averaging about this much, which is the 60 amp, but it was certainly getting up to 70 amperes a few times. Okay, higher feed rate this time. And, well, a little bit under 70 overall still for steady state. But uh, it's close enough to spec. Okay, I tried an even higher feed rate and I just couldn't get a steady arc going here. 
although it did surge at well over 100 amperes at times, but it just couldn't keep that going. Okay, that was the fastest feed rate I could maintain an arc at. And 70 amperes is this line, so it comes very close to that. And now out of curiosity, what is the short circuit current for a AA battery using my setup here? I'm going to go as close to 20 amperes. 